uh, uh, what is called the shot something shadow what is what is the name this name's game this game's name i forgot uh shadow warrior this game looks amazing i'm this is like a ridiculous version of doom i'm definitely playing this when it comes out i, I love fast-paced shooters you know me it looks kind of bad and laggy on the stream but this is, this is a good game series, and this one looks ridiculous. And the soundtrack, when they showed the first trailer, was sick too. This game is gonna be fun to play. This is like a mix of Doom with the uh, ridiculousness of the serious sound. This is one of those games that look very, very bad on stream. There's just too much happening. It's so much fun to play. I don't know if, that, if, this, if this is already developer happening, I'm pretty sure. 2021, they don't... I mean, still this year. Oh, there we go. Still this year, so that's what matters. Well, let's see, they're gonna be probably con year, yeah, they're gonna be continuing this very best the same story from all the previous the Volver presentations. They had this presenter. They they like updated her. Today is only the beginning. Those future, presentations definitely are never boring. Future's, future's, because future. they both have good. Devolver has good games, good indie games. I don't give a flipping freak about stupid live video game events. And they go all out with the, the story of this. Features, features, features. So then, you know, we kind of wrap it up after that. I, I'm thinking it's like a four, five year deal. Huh? I mean, huh? Right? I think. It's shit garbage. Fucking shit garbage. I mean, shit garbage. it's a dumb idea that'll never work. And you're an asshole for thinking it up. Who thinks this shit it up? It was me. Uh, I thought this shit. An asshole thinks this shit up. We're not doing a four year long series of narrative videos about the futures, futures, whatever the shit. Devolver Digital Cinematic you Universe. You shit. Your fucking face. That was supposed to be me, right? My face, is that even legal? Alt of Auburn Digital New Hires release, holy. Any work likeness, attribution, and slash or image rights upon execution of an employment contract, clear as day. Basically, we can do whatever we want with your likeness. Even if it is some stupid deep fake video abomination or whatever. Enough! Enough of this. You less talking, more typing. You, I don't like it. The internet would never buy it. We produce video games, video games at Devolver Digital and damn good ones. I'm told. Now, get the hell out of my conference room and take your dumb movie idea with you. Yeah, but listen, it's not just a dumb movie idea. It's a multi-layered narrative universe. You don't, you don't understand. This is art. This is, this is painting with light. This is cinema. Cinema. Well. Listen, slimes. It is a goddamn is the arms race out there. A hype eats hype. Person from the, the Last of Us on the right. Mode, the Last of Us too. Nut kick. Not we actress? are falling way the mother effing ever shit behind. What Melissa, did I do the see wrong. Yeah, so in the it's last thing, yeah, that, that has to be her. Real type bad. We need a fresh perspective. Something wild. Something stunning. Something new, but not too new, but new enough so that it seems new to those know it all, know nothings in the know, you know? Actually, ma'am, I think. No. No, no, no. Record scratch. What? Who are you and why are you making noises at me? Nina. Ma'am. Nina Struthers, I'm an adjunct under executive on the marketing team. I'm gunning for synergy officer one day. Why are you pouring the coffee? Because <laughs> we need coffee. Grab it, hack jaw. Nina, is it? Put the coffee down and talk at my face. Well, uh, 
Uh, the thing of it is, um, a few of us were talking and... Monetization as a service. See? What he said. That's gotta be the most ridiculous... Let's fucking do it. There is, the mo there is the monster there from Devolver Digital from has been at the absolute bleeding edge of technical, social, and humanitarian progress in the burgeoning videotainment market. Now that's no accident. The global research and development teams at Devolver Digital Incorporated have worked tirelessly to deliver to you, the unwashed consumers, so many breakthroughs in the video game entertainosphere that it's arguable as to whether the countless problems we've successfully solved were ever actually problems in the first place. Devolver Earliest Access delivered games to the marketplace at the exact point of conception. A developer even thinks of an idea and that shit's already for sale. Boom! Devolver Digital Screen Pay allowed loudmouth consumers to not only throw money at their screens, but to throw money at our federally unregistered offshore corporate bank accounts. <laughs> Devolver even jumped ass first into that crypto life though, bruh, before electric car brands made it all the rage with loot box. Coin, the market's first and justifiably last physical cryptocurrency that lived entirely off of the blockchain. You're bland! They always just last drop year, shade on everyone even have else in the gaming industry. The Volverland Expo spread a revolutionized the very concept of marketing as the industry's very first quadruple A playable video game trade show that you could download and play as a video game and video game play as a video game. Progress can't be stopped, though, no. So this year, Devolver Digital is taking aim at the blisteringly lucrative subscription service video game market. Welcome, Welcome to, to Devolver, Devolver Max Pass, Pass Plus. Plus. Hmm. Welcome to the future. Games as a service, a razor-edged industry shock jive that has served to convert what was traditionally a one-time purchase into a potentially lifelong chain ball commitment to reoccurring payments for video games that, well, let's be real deal about this, most of you don't even enjoy anymore. Devolver likes to take things further. Dive the big dive, you know? Take the leap, push the envelope, toad the wet sprocket, Go big or go home, and baby, we ain't got no home to go home to. Devolver likes to take things to a place that isn't even funny. So much is, is creepily possible and uncomfortably prescient. That is why monetization as a service. <clears throat> give me, give me, give me some more. We see it as a groundbreaking new way to keep consumers locked into a semi-regular non-payment schedule with a novel, if not needlessly complex approach, where in a top tier service subscriber, that is you, look at you, is granted access to dozens, if not hundreds of dozens of premium purchases at the low, low monthly price of no cost to you for the subscription itself. Hit me again. Mm. That is the Max Pass Plus difference. I wonder what it actually you is. Simply apply. And your credit competency, work history, genealogical strafe vector, total lunar payload weight, environmentally induced super yeah, selection th those state, hot dogs look and nasty. very first magic deck are evaluated on a 29 point density that matrix. Cheese looks and like boosh! You're absolutely roast street. Spaghetti. Yeah. Mm. This looks so nasty. This looks like diarrhea in a in a food version. From there, you are granted direct access to purchase anything in our constantly growing collection of video games and video game related junk for free. Well, not the purchases. They're not free. That would good be Good thing insane. it's not good looking food because I would get good access to angry. no purchases though. Totally freezes. Let's Well let's check a look. Hmm? At some of the video games that amazing consumers like you 
can look forward to, if you get approved, of course, with the Volver Max Pass Plus. Let's go. I'm assuming now it's gonna be the video games one after another because we have like 18 minutes of this only. Purchase. Let's see. The biggest huge thing would be huge thing would be Hotline Miami 3. Shadow Warrior I'm also looking forward but they already kind of showed it. So it's more about new games like this. Devolver always has good shit though. Okay, Samurai Side Scroller. Black and white. Kurosawa style. This already looks cool. But this guy has no nose. Trek to Yomi. To Yomi. Trek to Yomi. 2022 though. Premium purchase. Multiplayer experience. Okay. Our oh, phantoms are players. Oh, Defron style. Oh, it's a Defron game. Oh, that's kind of cool. Man, last time I played Defron, that was like Garris mode, Counter Strike, Team Fortress. I always was a fan of death run maps though. There's definitely not a lot of games like this one. I think the, the hot uh, lava or whatever game uh, was the last one like this one. Looks cool. Depends how big this game is, like how much replayability you have, how many maps and stuff. June twenty second, my birthday. Phantom Abyss. Fashionable. Now that's a phrase. A phrase that goes lock stock hand in hand with gamers. An exclusive state of being, if you will, to which only the most adroitly trained of amongst us can ever truly endeavor to gain hype. entry. Until now. No, 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 no. That's this, not this. I'm snapping, damn it! Being fashionable is a natural extension of the Devolver Max Pass Plus Premium Purchase Experience. I like the shirt on the right. Brought from us to you by Devolver's own central textile manufacturing and weaponized branding entity subgroups. We would like to present to you our newest collection of exclusive garmentry only available to the Devolver Max Pass Plus survivors. I, I can't, mean, I can't sell it. He's short oh, or I she's tall. Shut up. This collection of fashionable, comfortable, and catastrophically unaffordable formal wear was designed and manufactured entirely in-house by both. an elite selection of our most popular and attractive interns, to whom we've given key action words and access to an internet-connected device and, shall we say, choix de vivre. You may go. Bye. As with everything else in this presentation, the Devolver Max Pass Plus exclusive merch collection is, well, exclusive. Only available to subscribers in a premium purchase, not at all in the subscription fee you may or may not, but maybe, may be paying. Fashionable. Am I right? Now, let's take a deep breath and take a peek at is these two extension, premium purchase or? products that will be available no. to you soon. The I wonder if this is pre-recorded or Max actually Pass people are spamming Komodo Hype and it works. It's probably per record this so. Yeah. They're just throwing shade at all the subscriptions like this, that they're just trying to get your money from you. Oh, wait, is this the Is it the game they showed in the past? No, that's something else. 
the Wild West game already came out, I'm pretty sure, or something. Interesting, but it's not really. There's no gameplay at all or anything. Kind of cool though, like the art style. Cool music. Hopefully not the MCA. Oh, maybe this a rogue like different items he picks. Wizard with a gun. Okay. Multiplayer Survival Sandbox Adventure. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh it looks like uh, Don't Starve. It's exactly like Don't Starve. That's not a bad thing, though. Oh, and you collect materials. Crafting. Don't Starve with guns? I I'm down. This is literally Don't Starve with guns. Got 2022 Nintendo Switch and PC huh cool cool premium purchase oh I've seen this game before I think I wishlisted it I didn't know it's Devolver 2 it's like a bird with a sword. Oh, there's different weapons now. This is something I definitely could play. Kinda Souls-like action. The enemies, the NPCs, everything looks, and the combat looks good. Maybe I'm not a fan of playing as a bird instead of like a warrior or something, but... Ah, huh, and you have like followers, you lead somewhere. But yeah, the gameplay looks great. I mean, like I told you, developer always has good shit. They found... they only, they only have those very, very well-made indie games. That they publish. Death's door. Already wishlisted. July twenty, okay. July twentieth. Since 1975, Devolver Digital and the many incredible developers we've partnered with have produced what can only be appropriately described as an imperial buttload of incredible games that consumers worldwide have purchased, never actually played, and then made public claims about the game's quality in order to substantiate their place in online conversations about whether or not an indie game is still indie if it has a publisher. That's why we're proud to announce the entire Devolver Digital Cast Plus really good at. is available at Devolver Max Cast Plus as a premium service, oh. not included in your reoccurring monthly payments that we still haven't quite nailed down yet. I don't know. Each of these Different gems will be available at a reduced rate for a baffling limited amount of time, with discounts ranging from, I, why not, to fuck me, why are my pants wet? Think of it as a kind of thank you from an old friend. An old friend that believes Put your pants you deserve with savings a premium out. experience. I'm gonna have to check that website out later. Visit DevolverMaxCastPlus.com for more information. Premium purchase.
on the island and the, the hex. No idea. Card based Odyssey. Uh, I'm not a fan of card games. I. Okay, th this is like the first game they're showing right now that I'm not really interested in at all. I mean, some people could like it. Oh, interesting. It's like a puzzle. Okay. I'm so... Uh... Huh. I don't, I don't like the card aspect, but... It looks pretty freaky. I like the, the puzzle things they're, they're showing and the inscription. Huh. If not that card part, but who knows? Who knows? Premium purchase. Hey, kid! <gasps> Do you love video games? I'm a grown man. What are you doing in my bathroom? Do you love video games? Yes, I play them quite a bit. Do you want to pay for video games? Not at all, no. What if you could play a game for free, but then later we charge you for cool stuff and make you watch ads for minimal benefit to you, the consumer? <laughs> well, that doesn't sound great. Tumble time, it's tumble time. Pick up your phone, it's tumble time. <laughs> Ignore loved ones. <laughs> Reprioritize your life. <laughs> Let it consume your very being. <laughs> Turn real money into pretend money and spend it! Collect your favorite characters that you've never even heard of. Tumble time, it's tumble time. Pick up your phone, it's tumble time. Tumble time, it's tumble time. Here, pick up your phone, it's tumble time. Devolver Tumble Time is the feature physics-based puzzle gameplay, elegant monetization, and strategic brand integration. Choose characters from a loaded roster if you devolve a digital face and rack a major Man, they put a lot of hot dogs for this. By Max being clearing the impossibly adorable heads on the tumble. Some hot dog plays got. We mentioned that it's free, right? Because it's free. A lot of money Except from the them. Ads part, but there are ads because, of course, there are ads because nothing is ever really free. Get hype and unleash each character's special move and clear chunks by creating and activating chaotic chain reactions. Pre-register for Devolver Tumble Time on the App Store and Google Play by visiting DevolverTumbleTime.com. Swoop ahead! That's so nasty, Jesus. Nina! Oh, hey. Let's talk about subscriptions for a moment. Those are different hot dogs, though. They, they don't have all the that bullshit. The subscription service is an instrument of monetization from on days gone. Them. When your grandparents wanted to try a new cheese each month and your uncle wanted to look at photos of naked ladies from the comfort of his own tool shed. A relic. An unwieldy physical beast that we have haphazardly let slip into the digital realm, leaving us with nothing but ones and zeros to stand in for our stinky dairy product and perfect knockers. Devolver, though, aims to return subscription-based addiction back to its more tangible roots with a premium purchase title available only in this. The physical plane of actual, real, for real existence. Is that? Goddamn right it is. Introducing Demon Throttle Switch. by developer Doinksoft, the creators of Gato Roboto. It's coming to the Nintendo Switch as a physical box set and only a physical box set through our good friends at Special Reserve Games. Oh, you heard me right. Demon Throttle will not, I repeat, will not 
be available in any digital format and is only available for you to purchase as a retail product and put on your shelf and to never play or to sell at ridiculous scalper prices to anyone who missed out on its initial offering starting today. Check a look. Just my right. Or something. It's so wild to see the. That's the game. Those are the games you buy on Switch for $60. I mean, if this is the game, you, ha you have to be out of your mind to buy this as a physical copy for Switch. It's probably so expensive. Demon bottle. Huh? I mean... Unless it's a joke. Huh? Uh, right? I, I love it. It's good. Really good. Great work, Stiltz. Well, it wasn't all... Who'd have thunk? Big moves by a guy from... Where are you from? Technically, I'm not supposed to be here. Yeah, that's um, great, I'm buddy. Okay, now bring it home. Hit me with the big move. What's the punch? There isn't one. He does not have... Videotapes. Nina! Well, tape. Uh, what she said. What's this now? Well, we put the entire thing on a tape. And then sell it. Hey, like, like this, right? Uh, Right here. Videotape. The trick, tape. though, is oh, that oh, there is that? one and only one, and we well, sell it to one buyer. We put only the entire thing just the one. On a tape. Just the one. And then just the one. Sell it. Okay, and since there's only one, and the buyer like keeps this. it, and we broke the little tab on the inside, so you can't copy it. It is right. non-fuckwithable. Here. A non-fuckwithable tape. Right. NFT for short. It's, tape. No. it's gonna be a thing. Can we do this? Can this be done? It, it's, it's actually already been done. Okay, the one copy of this entire presentation on tape, the one in this player right here, is available online for the first Devolver Max Pass Plus Triple Platinum Elite Gold Star Magnum Double XL tier subscriber to go to DevolverMaxPassPlus.com and buy it. Okay, it is, it is totally non fuckwithable It does does no damage to the environment, to the energy grid, or the, the global technology supply chain because it is, it's just, I mean, it's just this old tape, right? That, that Caleb found in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a box marked Nancy's fancy. Cryptocurrencies and NFTs are good for environment. Wing, and it's, it's also a tape. Fucking brilliant. Yes. Yeah, Zane, Nina, Margaret, Caleb. This is such wonderful. What the fuck? A savage view, another me, snapping back to reality. Another you. Oh, they didn't have too many games. But the ones they showed, besides maybe the card game, were all cool. But the Boulder was the first one outside of uh, Xbox, Bethesda. Uh, Sony that started doing their own presentation on E3. It was a big deal back, back in the day, and they are still doing them. As a, as a joke, they show the games they have to publish, but they always make it as a joke like this. Now we have Gearbox. So 
I just started listening to the lyrics of the song. Okay.